Hey everybody, welcome to the Gentleman Scholars Club. Today we're going to be talking about a trend in men's footwear, specifically these. I'm not even sure what to call these, but um, I've mainly seen them described as slip-ons. I've also seen them called moccasins or loafers, but they've certainly been popular recently. And in today's video, we'll talk about whether you should wear them and if you do, how to style them. So when I say these shoes are a trend, I'm talking about roughly the last year and a half or two years, probably summer, spring, summer collection of 2019 into now. And I would say they're even more popular now. You can find them featured in a number of stores online. Uh, probably, although they originated pre-COVID, uh, probably because of the increased casualization of COVID, uh, where people are working at home, people are dressing down. Um, menswear stores are trying to manufacture or trying to market um, shoes that fit more of that casual aesthetic and that dressing down. And uh, these would certainly fit the bill there. Um, I'm not sure they're really a loafer. Loafer tends to be more structured. Right? This is a tassel loafer, you know, tassel loafers, penny loafers, or Norwegian loafers, among others. Um, so these are, tend to be more structured than something like this. Um, I'm not sure they're really um, moccasins either. Moccasins are even softer. So this is kind of occupying an in-between space. And for that reason, uh, they're probably gaining popularity because of that flexibility. Um, originally got mine, got these from Suit Supply. Uh, they're also sold by Penny Parma, which is a French boutique with an Italian aesthetic. Uh, they're sold by Scrosso, which I've talked about before as a brand, a German company with shoes made in Italy, a footwear company. And they're sold by Rosen Born, a Scandinavian company located in Sweden. Uh, all sorts of different uh, different types of men's wear for sale at Rosenborn. Um, so widely popular, definitely a European aesthetic, as you can tell by the brands that I mentioned, uh, and also an Italian style to them. Most of them, I believe, are made in Italy. Uh, they tend to be summer, spring and summer oriented, because obviously you can't wear these with socks. I think it would look ridiculous to wear these with socks. If you have done so and it looks good, let me know, but I can't imagine it. Uh, you would have to wear these either with um, no show socks or no sock at all, uh, similar to what you would do with an espadrille. Um, but de definitely a spring and summer type of shoe um, in terms of the construction. Uh, there were some versions uh, marketed for uh, fall and winter by Rosenborn. Obviously, in Scandinavia, it's always winter, so they're going to push it for, a, uh, for those seasons as well. Uh, those had, I believe some of them had shearling lining, but they had, uh, you know, fur or uh, sheepskin on the inside, sheep fur on the inside. Uh, so they, they did market them for uh, autumn and winter with a higher back to kind of protect the foot more, potentially keep out snow and, and with an insulating lining. But overall, I would say these are definitely for warm weather use. Characteristics of the shoe. Uh, suede, for the most part, I've seen them in brown suede and blue suede primarily, also probably in a topish gray. Scaroso has the widest selection of these in different colors. They have a gray version, which I was looking at. They have a uh, green version and other colors in the range. Uh, primarily, you'll find them in a brown, uh, which was marketed by Suit Supply or sold by Suit Supply, and also in uh, navy blue. And you can pair those in a number of ways based on those two colors, classic colors for classic menswear. Suede, and another characteristic is the bottom. It's made of a gum rubber. Um, you can see that. So different than your usual menswear sole, which would be either a leather bottom, so similar to what you find on the loafer, leather bottoms, or you know, you'd find something in like a day night, uh, a black rubber with studs in them or in it. Uh, which you would wear for inclement weather in the wintertime. Uh, gum rubber is something a little bit different, right? Um, has that characteristic yellowish white color. Some of them, uh, some of these shoes have um, more of a white gum rubber. This one is from Scrosso, and as you can see there, it's kind of a lighter off-white color. Some of them are yellower. You can see them side by side there. Um, and and uh, all gum rubber. Uh, benefit of gum rubber, uh, very comfortable. It's, uh, it, gives you, it gives you a thick sole. It's made of a solid material, flexible as well, quite comfy to wear, to be honest. And that's one of the appeals of the shoe in addition to its crossover, casual slash dressy nature. Um, gum rubber also non-slip for the most part. Um, and it, they usually have this sort of um, 
finish to them, which enables you to get a little bit of a grip on the bot at the bottom. So would I recommend that you wear these? The answer is probably yes, and it depends on how you like to style yourself. So first of all, as I said, you have to wear these without socks or with no-show socks. You have to be comfortable with that look, first of all. And I think you should be in the summer. You know, you want to be relaxed, sort of like a boat shoe situation. Uh, you, you want to wear them under those conditions. Um, I tend to overdress, and I've confessed to this in the past. Um, I'm the sort of person who used to wear a sport coat and loafers to the beach, and I'm trying to avoid that now. Um, certainly prefer to have loafers as being more structured, and I prefer to wear a tailored sport coat, but there are circumstances I realize where I wouldn't be dressing for the occasion. I also said in another one of my videos that when my wife and I travel, we like to go to you know, British country houses and walk around the grounds. We like to go to gardens. Uh, we like to take walks in the woods. We like to take drives on the coastline, whether it's the California coast or Massachusetts or Long Island, and kind of walk around on the beach a little bit. So for situations like that, wearing structured calf loafers and a sport coat will make you look really out of place. So I've been trying to dress down. I've been buying safari jackets, as I also discussed in another video. And this sort of footwear is perfect for those types of conditions. Uh, definitely in the spring and summer, that was an area where I struggled to find proper footwear for the types of situations I mentioned earlier. In the autumn or winter, I would just throw on a pair of boots. And there are boots that are sufficiently dressed up enough to wear with sort of tailored clothing or classic menswear. But in the spring and summer, there's not many, there are not many options. You can wear an espadrille or something like that. Um, but espadrilles, not the most comfortable for walking in many cases. Um, and espadrilles have thicker soles made of rope. Recently, they've been adding a thin layer of rubber, uh, which is helpful. But still, they don't have that flexibility, right? Whereas uh, something like these slip-on shoes do have that flexion, which makes walking more comfortable. The sole is also, as I said, highly comfortable, whereas these may not be. And then the inside of an espadrille usually has the coir rope, uh, has, is made of coir rope, and that can also braid against your feet if you do a lot of walking. So a similar situation to where you would wear an espadrille is where I would wear these. Also a similar situation is where you wear a dress sneaker. It's not a real athletic sneaker, but something like, uh, you know, a more dressed up um, version of a sneaker. Uh, these would be a step up, step up or a step above those. So I would go with them in any of those type of circumstances. Uh, the bottom, as I said earlier, also has some sort of grip to it. So good for walking on fairly level paths, dirt paths in the woods, uh, gravel paths in, in a country house or in a garden or something like that. And even if I go to a, a garden center on the weekend and kind of stroll around, look at the plants and flowers and stuff, uh, that's what I would, I would probably choose this rather than um, a formal loafer with a leather bottom, which would not wear well on a, a gravel surface. I, I tend to find the leather gets abraded badly. Uh, the rubber, the um, leather sole gets destroyed uh, by gravel and dirt. So this would be great for a little bit more of a rugged condition like country walks, but again, not extreme hiking or anything like that. In terms of what to pair with them, uh, if you look at the Rosenborn lookbook for spring and summer 2021, you'll see that they feature this shoe in almost every photo with everything. So it's featured even with a suit. And I wouldn't wear this with tailoring, especially if you have um, a tie on, but perhaps a more casual suit like a navy linen suit or something along those lines might be suitable, um, might be appropriate. And a sport coat, perhaps, uh, you could do it that way. I find I don't like it as much under those conditions as I would a loafer, but if the circumstance requires me to do it, I might pair the two together. But again, I would probably just go with a safari jacket like this one from Penny Parma. This is a linen safari jacket, something to wear in lieu of a sport coat and wear with this sort of shoe. Probably would wear you know, beige chinos or beige trousers to kind of complement uh, the color of the rubber sole. Or you can wear it with something like this, which is a blue suede safari jacket. Uh, you can get a brown suede and wear it with a brown, or you know, pair it with a navy blue version of a slip-on. And I would probably wear something like um, white trousers with this, and, or uh, a white shirt and maybe gray trousers, and use this sort of shoe. Um, you, again, you're kind of dressing less formally than if you were wearing tailoring, but you're still, you know, smart, casual, and you still look well-dressed overall. 
So hope that was useful in terms of figuring out how to style this slip-on shoe. If you like the video, uh, please do so on YouTube and follow us at the Gentleman Scholars Club for more style advice, discussions of brands, and uh, discussion of classic menswear. Thanks for watching.